Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing today? So, it's Tasha, and I'm back with another video. So, um, I'm sitting in the car, you guys, because I had some errands to run today, and... Mm -mm, got too much... I put a little lipstick on. I do that from time to time. I'm not a real big makeup person, but I'll put it on from time to time. But I had a little errand I had to run this morning. Once I dropped my son off at school, so I was like, oh, put a little lipstick on or whatever. But anyway, um, I just wanted to come to you guys this morning. Um, I, first of all, I want to say um, thank you guys so much. Um, I have a little over 60 subscribers now. And I was going to say prescribers anyway. But I got um, a little over 60 subscribers now. And I just literally started this channel like... I don't know, like five days ago. So I'm really excited about that. And I thank you guys so much who's, who all have, you know, stopped by and subscribed or who just stopped by to watch my video. Like, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I have noticed, too, in the comments um, that video that I had um, um, posted about Olivia living with the webs. So, um so in some of the comments, a lot of people were mistaking the things that I was saying, like I was bashing that young lady. And I just want to come on here and say, um, I am not bashing Olivia. Um, I have no reason to bash that young lady. I mean, I respect her hustle. Like whatever she does is what she does. I mean, I actually, in some sense, was trying to defend her, uh, you know, to some people because, you know, we can't speculate what's going on in that lady's life i mean um here recently she um up updated us on her life um gerard is back at home and and i'm thankful for that because like i said before in the video in one of my other videos um like i said before they their relationship seems very genuine and that man really seems like he loves her and she seems like she loves him too and them kids just adore both their parents so i don't ever want to see a broken home you know especially for 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 women out here it's hard trying to raise kids by yourself so if you got a man with with so many homes out here now where there's single moms raising kids and you got a lot of men running around here not taking the responsibility of their children and you got a lot of women around here too that's not taking the responsibility of children because you you got a lot of men out here raising kids by themselves so we can't just always bash the men about that it's a lot of women out here too that are not being responsible for their children and i can say that because i'm a foster parent and and um i've i've had to endure some of that you know um so i can say that but um i i, I don't you know, people are going to say what they want to say. People are going to agree with you, disagree with you. People are going to like you, not like you. Like, I experienced that all my life. And I'm not here to, um, you know, for everybody to like me because everybody's not going to like me. And I understand that. I, I have came across some YouTube channels that... I just didn't vibe with. And that's okay, you know. Again, my, my channel right now is not as great as some of these other YouTubers out here, but I'm beginning. And like I said, for the people who have subscribed to me and for the people that may will subscribe for me, just um, be patient with me and I will grow and we can grow together. Um, I'm a talker. I like to talk, okay? So... You know, um, I, I, I will do a lot of that. A lot of times I'll just come on here just to talk, you know, to you guys. But, I just, yeah, I just want to say, you know, I was getting some pretty mean comments, you know. <laughs> and I, I just want to say, hey, I'm not trying to, you know, step on anybody's toes or I'm not trying to bash that woman. I don't have no reason to bash her. I don't, like I said before, y'all, I don't know if that lady is lying. I don't know if she's telling the truth. All I know is what she put out there. And based off of what she says now and what she said prior, um, is how I come or formulate an an opinion about what I say, about what she puts out there. And that's all I'm saying. Like I said before, I don't know anything about if that woman is, you know, being investigated for welfare fraud or Section 8 fraud and all this other stuff. 
Like, we don't know that. We're speculating that information. So, we don't know that. So, like I said before, you know, I noticed in one of her here recent videos, she got her a new car. Big ups to her for that. Like I said before, I, I don't. I don't hate on anybody, you know. I mean, that lady, she, she working for it. And although she's not clocking in every day, but she grinding on this YouTube, and it's a job, you know. It's it's a job. I just been doing my research about it, and I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, it's a lot in, entailed in this YouTube. So, um, and if you put forth the whole effort um, for it, um, it will, I'm sorry, y'all, my neighbor is backing out. But anyway, if you put forth the effort, it is a lot of work. Um, it, it's a lot of work to please people, you know. So, um, I just I just want to say that, like, I mean, I'm not trying to kiss nobody's ass. I'm not, I'm not doing that either. I'm just saying, for the people who met, left those negative comments, like, hey, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trying to dog that lady out. Like, you really need to listen to what I'm saying. I think some of the people didn't hear what I said. I'm not trying to dog that woman out. I just, some of the things that I, I've heard and seen, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. You know, I, you know, I made a comment about her saying something about Ratchet food stamp haul, and then somebody said, uh, she said that just being sarcastic. Like, okay, I, I'm just saying, like, don't associate ratchetness with getting food stamps, because just because you get food stamps don't mean you're ratchet, that's all I said, I mean, I don't know what she meant by it, I'm not in that woman's head, you know, so, I mean, whatever, but, um, I also want to say, uh, I want to say a shout out to, oh, God, I hate that I cannot pronounce this lady's name, Melisandra Lopez, she um, stopped by my channel and, and left me a comment, and I replied back to her, and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. I, I feel very honored. Um, she also started as a small YouTuber and is, and is starting to climb up on the um, YouTube platform, and I um, I admire that, And, and um, but I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and paying attention to little old me. Um, so, uh, what y'all got going on today? Anybody got anything interesting going on? Um, I don't really have too much going on today. Um, I know later this week it's going to be really cold. It's supposed to get down like negative degrees here in Indiana. So, um, like I said, the little, um, um, errands I had to run, I went on and ran those today and then I got, a few things I need to do tomorrow, but other than that, I really don't have too much going on. Um, so you guys, guess what? So, um, last night I posted that deal about Family Dollar. So I went this morning, that was one of my errands, to go get me some comforters. A girl. And these mother suckers then, then took the sale down. So, the coupons are still on the uh, digital app. You can still download the $5 off $25 and the $15 off comforter. But it was an instant savings in the store for $10 off the comforter. Well, I guess, you know, that's one thing about social media, child. It's a curse and it's a blessing. Because when you say something on social media, it goes like wildfire. Wildfire, excuse me, y'all. It goes like wildfire. And I guess somebody in home office at Family Dollar got wind of this instant savings plus the $15 off coupon and they took that deal down so some stores from what I hear some some managers are still forcing the $10 instant savings through so I'm not gonna say give up you guys so if you are out today and you go buy a family dollar run in there and see you know what's up I mean it doesn't hurt if you're already out it's not like you're spending extra gas so go in there and try, but I did try. I only went to one family dollar. I only went to one family dollar and it was a it was a dead deal. So it is what it is. Sometimes when, when them deals come out, like you gotta be on it. You got to be on it. Because once corporate office gets wind of it, they'll shut it down quick. Family dollars is notorious for that. Dollar General, when they have um, the glitches in the system, they'll let theirs ride for a couple of days. But Family Dollar, you might get a day. 
a day out that deal. So if y'all see on one of these social media uh, platforms, y'all see somebody posting something, you better run if you're able. And if you're not, you just miss out. You know, and that's just what it is. You just miss out. I had I go child. I had my little plan. I said, okay, I'm gonna go get me four comforters. You know, what I'm saying I had my little little money already set to the side so I can go my get so I can go get my comforters. And I should have grabbed them comforters yesterday when I was in Family Dollars, but. I didn't because I was like, eh, I'll come back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because I really went in there for something, just to run in there for something and come out. I really wasn't trying to do comforters, you know. Um, but I, I should have, I should have. That's what I. Every time I do that, every time y'all, I, did, does anybody do that? Anytime I don't follow my first mind, something always go wrong. If that happens to y'all, uh, comment down below. If if that happens to y'all, like every freaking time I do that, every time, like when I don't do what's on my mind at that moment and then i'll be like ah, i'll just do it later you know what i'm saying i'll come back and it don't never work out like i am the biggest procrastinator like for real though i am i am the biggest procrastinator so y'all i love my coffee when i tell you i love my coffee like i got up this morning to get me some coffee and discover i had no coffee filters because my kids take the coffee filters, and when I let them get snacks and stuff in the afternoon for um, after school, they use my coffee filters to hold the little snacks. Like if they're getting pets or pretzels or cookies or animal crackers or whatever, they use my coffee filters. And I have told them a million times, do not use my coffee filters. Use the paper towel. And I get up this morning getting ready for my coffee, and child, it, no coffee filter. So what I did is I improvised. I just used a paper towel. And made it like a filter and improvised. So that's a tip for y'all if y'all didn't know that already. If you don't got no coffee filters, just, child, just use a paper towel. Um, I And I use Viva paper towels. Like, they are super absorbent. Like, you can damn near wash dishes with a Viva paper towels. Like, Viva paper towels is the real deal holy feel. Like, I love those paper towels. Ever since I discovered those paper towels, like, two years ago when I first started couponing, Baby, I just I, I I haven't used anything else. Like if I I don't if I don't have no Viva, I'll just be like, oh my God. Cause I love those paper towels. So if y'all haven't tried Viva paper towels, y'all really now they're a little more expensive, but they're they're truly worth it. Like they are super absorbent. Like, like I said, y'all, you can literally wash your dishes with those paper towels. Like, I love them. But anyway, um so um uh, I really ain't got much going on today, you guys. I I didn't really want much. I just wanted to get on here and and talk to y'all a minute and let you know that that deal was dead. I was like, oh my god, I hate that. Oh yeah, and I drink when I'm out. Like if I'm out, I drink McDonald's coffee. McDonald's coffee is the best coffee to me. Like Starbucks. I'm not a Starbucks fan. It is way too strong. I just don't... I don't know. It's something about that McDonald's coffee. I've tried, like, Burger King's coffee, and I don't really like it. I've tried gas station coffee. I don't know. It just... I don't know. It's... I don't know. It's something about the gas station coffee. I just don't like it. Um, but I'm going to tell you something else I do drink. I drink that um, Thai... T-A-I chai... Thai chai... I hope I'm saying that right. It's... um, It's a... I, I drink the spiced one... Oh my god, and it's the it's a tea. And I'm not a tea drinker. Like I literally do not like tea. Uh, but um a girlfriend of mine's had turned me on to it one day and I was like, she's like, You wanna try some of this Thai tea? And I'm like, mm, no, nah, because I don't drink tea. She was like, girl, I'm telling you, try it, you will love it. Baby, when I tried that Thai chi, oh my god, I fell in love with it. And there's a um I buy it by the canister from Sam's Club. Y'all love Sam's Club. But only for certain things. I don't go there for everything. I go there for certain things. But I love Sam's Club. Um, they got it in a big canister. And I think it's like 7 or $8. And it lasts me. Because I drink it like all day long. So it'll last me about two weeks. Um, but you just take like... It comes in a canister. And you just take a scoop... And put it in um, hot water. Like, um, I got a Keurig. So what I do is I just turn my Keurig on and let the hot water dispense in my cup. And then I just take the scoop out of the can and put a couple scoops in there and stir it up. And 
and the reason why, one of the re- other reasons why I started drinking that Tai Chi is because, like I said, I'm a coffee drinker. Like, I literally love coffee. I drink it all day long. Like, some people are, like, morning coffee drinkers, but I literally drink coffee all day long. I love coffee. Um, and w- what I noticed was I started gaining weight because I was, I, I like coffee with cream and sugar. Like, I don't drink black coffee. I like cream and sugar in my coffee. Well, of course, using cream and sugar is fattening. But when I use when I drink that Tai Chi, I I I use nothing. I I don't put no cream in it. I don't put any sugar in it. Like I drink it just like it is. So that saves me on you know consuming a lot of cream and sugar. So if you guys get a chance, try it. Like you will really. If you're a tea drinker, like you will literally love that Tai Chi. That I use the spice guy, and like I said. I get it from Sam's Club, but you can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it at Kroger's, Myers, like whatever local grocery stores in your city. They have it there in the coffee tea aisle. You will not. I mean, my God, if you're a tea drinker, you will literally love it. So, but you guys, I didn't want much. I just wanted to get on here and say, hey, and kind of chat a little bit. And like I said, kind of want to put a. I don't know if you would call it a disclaimer, but just kind of put a little something, something out there saying, like, I literally was not trying to bash anybody. Um, like I said, that young lady is is doing big things, and I um, commend her and admire her for that. Um, I'm never going to, st- you know, knock anybody's hustle. That's her hustle. If she's putting out lies, then she's putting out lies, but it's selling. You know, it is what it is. I mean... You can't say nothing else about it. So, um, you know, you're going to always have people like people going to always hate or be jealous or whatever the situation is. It just is what it is. So, um, so you guys, I'm going to go and let you go and I will see you in the next video. But before you leave, like, comment and subscribe if you would please thank you so much for stopping by and and, and chatting with me i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day